Okay, hi, this is Dan. You're watching Dream Vision. I'm here with Marilyn Manson and Twiggy of Marilyn Manson uh, here at Wing Stadium. And this is the big Marilyn Manson episode of Dream Vision. So, guys, how's the tour going so far? Uh, fuck Danzig, fuck this tour, fuck music, and uh, fuck us. We don't like any of it. We're basically uh, bored. We're trying to uh, spice things up a little bit. And uh, we feel kind of bad that our fans have to pay an extra twenty-five dollars to see us play, but uh, I guess the tour's been okay. Of course, right? Now the crowd is an awful different crowd than the Nine Inch Nails crowd. Which crowd is accepting you better? Um, our crowd. Because when you were headlining, well. Our crowd that comes to these shows and our crowd that uh, was at the, uh, our own shows. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what, if there is any other crowd at these shows. There's a few inbred people that come out that uh, will uh, chant dancing. But other than that. Yeah, I like the local security guys. They all want to kick my ass every night for um, spitting on them. So tonight I think we're going to try and get everyone to spit on me and then um, have to hit the security guards in the class. So uh, after this, how long is this tour going on for? Um, maybe till tonight if we get kicked off. We keep trying every night, but it hasn't worked yet. Uh, it's scheduled until the 14th of May or something like that. And then after that, big, another big tour? Um, Europe and another summer tour, we're not sure when we get. What do you guys headlining? We'll probably do another headlining tour, but we'll probably also do something else. Can you talk a lot about there or no way? Hope, I hope well, not. Initially, we, we didn't... We didn't, wouldn't consider Lollapalooza because we didn't want to like what it was about, but we figured if anybody were to change what it would be about, we should do it. But if we do do Lollapalooza, we'll make sure that we piss everyone off, burn the stage down, kill a lot of chickens, and offend uh, women and, and uh, minorities and, and ourselves along the way. Great, great. Okay, I hear you guys have a new drummer. Yeah, Ginger Fish. What happened to Sailor? Okay. Um, on the last night of our club tour, I set his drum set on fire and smashed him and, and it, and he, he was irreparable. So we had to find someone else. How's uh, Ginger Fish working out? Good. Good? Real good. That's cool. Um, okay, I have a question for the boy that's in the Lunchbox video. Tell us about him and how, how much is he really on the album and what's your relationship with him and whatnot. Um, his name's Robert, and uh, he's been a friend of ours for a couple years. He's six years old. Uh, we babysit him sometimes. He sings on my monkey, and he, he uh, talks on the beginning of Lunchbox. And uh, he's in the video for Lunchbox. That's him also. And, uh, you know... Eventually, we'll probably work with him some more in the future because we want to uh, help his career. And if, when he's old enough, maybe we'll get him into you know, uh, a career in pornographic films or something like that. With Richard Kern directing, since they already know each other in real tight. Exactly. Okay, down in the park. Um, has John Carpenter said anything about the Prince of Darkness stuff? Uh, what Prince of Darkness stuff? What Prince of Darkness stuff? Okay. No, he hasn't, you haven't got any feedback from John Carpenter at all? Or? No. Uh, How about Gary Newman? Well, he gets royalties for doing cover. Has, has, have you heard good, bad from him otherwise? We haven't heard from him. I know he's making a new record, though. And, uh, we, we've always liked that song that was originally in the movie Time Square. Oh, no. Breaking TVs and telling their parents to 